Morning, Nigel James, Princess Brokerage International, coming to you from a slightly grey and windy Port of Hotels in Palma de Mallorca. Forgive uh, the conditions, it's a little bit noisy with the boat in motion and there's a little bit of uh, construction going on, but uh, we'll do the best we can and uh, walk you through this rather lovely Princess V52 um, built in 2014. The 52 Princess is conceived all around this deck saloon. So basically we're providing a dinghy on a hydraulic platform, really nice sized cockpit leading straight into a deck saloon, um, which allows all the accommodation forward for uh, three cabins below decks. Why don't you come on board and take a closer look. Okay, so here we are in the cockpit of this boat, and I think, as you can see, this uh, this nice U shape here is um, is really quite big and quite spacious. We also benefit from this table that opens out for eating, but it also drops down to make this area open to a sunbed. We've got a wet bar here. We've got a barbecue. We've got a fridge um, or a refrigerated cool box. We've got some storage below, and then we've got our um, our walk out through to the passerelle. Um, and our controls here which cover the platform function and the passerelle function. We've got this lovely uh, wide opening uh, saloon door here, stainless steel, it's three panels so that we get this big opening out onto the cockpit. That means we get good connection from the cockpit to the saloon and it creates like one space really. You note the wood here is in good order, it's got nice colour, um, you know again clearly well maintained. We have got micro blinds here that tuck up under the pelmets that give access to these nice long glass windows. We've got our seating area here which is a good size U again with these two stalls here so that you can sit around the table if you want to. As we move forward now to this helm area, things of note here, um, we've got two seats here so um, the guy driving the boat can have a little bit of company, a bit of help with the navigation. We've got an opening side window, an opening roof which is really quite cool, it really mixes up what is inside and outside space. And then we've got this wide expanse here of glass, which gives us, you know, fantastic visibility. OK, so here I am at the helm of this boat, which is a really nice place to be. I've got really good visibility moving forward. I'm quite high up and I've got large, you know, large areas of glass around me. I've got, as I mentioned before, I've got the window that opens, the roof that opens. So I get a sense of the inside outside um, um, usability of this boat. It's a well appointed um, and well equipped helm station really. I've got my plotter, I've got my GPS, I've got bow and stern thrusters, I've got my, my, my speed, my depth, I've got an autopilot. It is all here and it's all you know nicely laid out before me. Engines here are Volvos, these are D11 725s. Um, I'm pretty sure nearly all the um, 52s had that engine. Uh, the interesting point is it's traditional engine, it's shaft drive. It is on a V-box, but it's shaft drive. That means all your mechanics are inside the boat, very easy to maintain, um, and you get the benefits of shaft drive, giving you really nice and easy directional stability. Performance is good, and um, it's easy boating. Okay, so the cool thing, in my opinion, about this particular V52 is the three cabin layout. It is an option, and I suspect that most boats are built with the dinette instead of the third cabin. But actually in this boat, when you've got a deck saloon, I think this works really well. We've got three cabins here um, around this uh, galley. I've got immediately uh, under where you are right now, I've got the owner's stateroom, which is a nice big double bed cabin, lots of floor space around it, two nice big windows, and its own separate bathroom. It's a really nice space. Now for a boat of this size, it, it's unbeatable really. And moving forward, we've got a double. I mean, this has got what we call scissor berths. So they're open as two singles at the moment, but they come together in the middle to create a double. Um, it's a nice, well-appointed cabin. It's got lots of light. It's got access to the bathroom here, which is just in front of the galley. And then we've got another door here so that the other cabin and the boat generally can also share this bathroom. So we're three cabins, two bathrooms. And then here, we've got a third cabin with bunk beds, you know, those bunk beds are proper sized beds. They're good width, they're good length. They don't, you know, they're, they're all open into the cabin. There's good light, good storage. It's actually very, um, very comfortable and usable spaces. So it is a proper three cabin boat, a 52 foot um, with two bathrooms and it works really well, as does this galley. You know, we're right under the screen. So we're sitting here bathed in light. So it's quite a nice place to be. We've got our microwave um, 
convention 11 we've got our fridge we've got a freezer we've got ample storage opening porthole yeah it's a good it's a good usable galley it's a nice family boat Okay, so here I am back in the saloon and I hope I've been able to give you a bit of a flavour for what this um, Princess B52 is all about. I think you can see from the pictures that it's a nice example and definitely well worth a look. So really you should make the effort, come and have a look. Let me show you the boat in, in detail. It's well worth the effort to come. Um, do visit our website. There you will find more pictures, 3D tours, full technical spec and the price. So please do make the effort to go and have a look at that. And if you've got any questions at all, Give me a call. I'm Nigel James and this is the Princess B52.